Hey there, y'all. Disney D Friends here today with another Barbie the Movie unboxing. Today we have the deluxe Barbie car. This is a vintage Chevrolet that is done in pink and rose gold and is $75. Now, that is a little pricey for a Barbie car. Normally they top out at around 80 and that's for the RVs that are play sets. They do sometimes get up to 100. They've gotten higher in later years, but this is one of the most expensive actual Barbie cars that we've seen in a while. But it seemingly has the most features. Its front door is open. It's supposedly a four-seater car, and it is so luxe. I picked mine up from Walmart before it sold out. I think it's back in stock. None of the Barbie the movie stuff is limited, guys. So don't stress out if you don't get it immediately. They are going to keep restocking these, most likely to get the most money that they can out of the movie. So if you have not found these in stores yet, don't worry. These are online. Um, they were available. Walmart, Amazon, and Mattel Creations. Mattel Creations has not restocked the car yet, I don't think. But the last time I checked, Walmart still had these available for pre-order. They may have actually already had theirs in stock. So we are going to take a look at this car. We're going to see if it actually fits four dolls, and if it doesn't, about how many it'll actually fit. My guess is that it's gonna fit two dolls with one doll kind of lounged in the back, kind of like Ken was in the trailer, but we'll see. I haven't seen anybody talking about how many dolls can actually fit in this, so we're going to take a look and see if it's worth it. So let's take a look at the box first. Thank you, Minnie Me. So of course we have the box here in the front. This is done in kind of 70s Barbie logo. It's very cute. I'm gonna show you guys the top of the box. So the top of the box right there has got the full picture of our car. As you can see, we've got a full back seat. There's no seat belts in this Barbie car from what I can see. There might be crossbody belts. I think I see little holes, but I don't see the obnoxious big plastic straps that we usually get. But as you can see, the license plates are molded around the Barbie letters. It's not just a square with a sticker. It is very cute. So we are going to take a look at the other side of the box now, which has got a little bit more detail. As we can see, we've got Barbie in her blue outfit up there. A little bit more of the dashboard. A little bit of demo on that trunk space area. And it says, Greetings from Barbie Land. Wishing you the best day ever. So, it's very cute. Now, I do want to be able to flip this around to show you guys the UPC. There is the UPC and the item number for the car. So I'm going to just try to take this out because I feel like that's gonna be a little bit easier to do. So I'm just opening up the back flap over here. And, ooh, okay. So there is an interior packaging, which I will show you guys here in just a second. Okay, it's so big it barely fits in my filming area. But here's what it looks like. It's very cute. I am in love with it. It comes with a uh, certificate also. There you can see it in the back. And as you can see, it is kind of taped in there. I'm not sure if this tape, oh no, it's not. It's just taped on the box. That's fine. This has a little thing that we're gonna need to cut to get it out, I'm guessing. There might be some more. 
I think there are some more pieces holding it in there on the bottom. I think we might have those little key things that we sometimes get. Oh yeah, okay. So five big keys to hold our dolls in place. Okay, just like that. They come out pretty easily, they just turn. Just like this, to secure it in the box. And our last one, this might release it. I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, what do we think? Well, that actually got it out of the box, fully. Nice. Let me get the last little bits off of here. There's a couple of these spacers that connect into the bottom of the car so it's not as noticeable in the box. But it's very cute. I am very much looking forward to this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. Okay, so we've got our cert. And this one is actually different because it says the movie vehicle. So that's awesome. And then we're gonna take this away and put our car back there. So, let's take a look. So we've got our windshield, very cute. It's got the little mirror. That is what the interior looks like. So we do have space underneath and it goes all the way. So this might actually fit four dolls, y'all. Um, oh my gosh, there's window cranks. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's an actual physical window crank. Old people like me will be able to remember those before automatic windows. Now, it is very cute. The door actually opens, which is awesome. I don't see any seat belts, so I was right. Must have been like a trick of the light or something. There's just a little bit of a gap in this, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. but it's okay. Oh, it's fine. Um, but as you can see, our steering wheel actually moves our front wheels. That's awesome. Here is the back with the Barbie. This is raised. There's our trunk, perfect size for some Barbie suitcases. We do have transparent lighting on the back. If you guys can see, actual full gauges and a radio in there. There's even a speedometer underneath there. I love that, that is awesome. And it looks just as good from the other side door also opens like that. Like, that is awesome. The only thing that would be better is if this came with a top that actually closed over. That would be my only thing that I would like to see more of that. But, as you can see, we've got our rose gold accents. 
and that's here up along the windows, that's on the tires, that's anywhere where it would be chrome on an actual vintage car. So, who better to drive our Barbie car than my Mimi? So, he is right there waiting for his co-pilot right there. He fits nice and easily. We don't have to worry about anything. He sits a little tilted because of the wheelbase. So the inside of it actually looks a little bit like that. But he looks really good. Now, let's see about Ken. So, Ken is also going to go in this back seat. We're gonna see if he can easily fit. Hmm. So, not easily, and I'm not sure if it's because of the, oh, his pants are coming off. Jeez, Ken. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna stick him in the front seat then. Just like that. And we'll see if Barbie fits better in the back seat. So I have my Barbie style in her blue outfit from the from the fashion packs. We are going to put our lovely doll right in there. And she fits very easily back there. But let's see, what about Perfect Day Barbie? Do we think Perfect Day Barbie will fit back there? And this is our actual Margot Barbie. So we're going to tilt our toes and slide her right in there and we are all off to have an adventure we've got four dolls actually sitting completely fine in there now I think the only problem with the back seat is that this front seat is a little too low for Ken's legs to actually get in in the first place but if this seat was removable, you'd be able to put Ken's in the back seat just fine. Now let me show you what it looks like when we take them out. So if you can see in there, there are their little pink feet. Well, one of Barbie's shoes actually came off, but it's fine. Barbie lost the white shoe, but it's okay. We'll stick it back on her here in a minute. Um, so we are going to take our girls out. Now that we've confirmed that four dolls can actually fit in there, I want to see if our other dolls can fit in the back, if that's gonna be an issue or not. But as we saw, two girls fit just fine in the back. Now I want to see if maybe it's Ken's fault. Okay, this lifts up a little bit. I don't think it's designed to come out though. No, it's not. I'm not pulling at this. Because this has got a little... Um, a little screw it looks like holding this on so I'm not going to try to unscrew that if you needed to you probably could but I'm okay with Ken being in the front seat that's okay with me uh, Barbie would like to be a passenger princess sometime you know they can they can hang out in the back but, as you can see, both guys 
fit pretty comfortably there in the front. Like you could probably fit a Chelsea doll between them. There's actually enough room. Two guys chilling six feet apart. Because mm. they're definitely not sus. Mm. Um, but I am pleasantly surprised to be able to report that four dolls do actually fit in there. So that is a plus. So if that has been holding you back, this is actually a very, very well constructed car. Like, the only thing that does not come assembled is the windshield that you have to pop in. And honestly, in that box, they could have put the windshield on, and I don't know why they didn't to make it permanently affixed, but it's very cute. And everything is awesome. But if I'm gonna nitpick, because at this point in the video, I'm gonna start nitpicking, for $75, they could have done um, fabric seats to make them more plush. At least if they were gonna be like pleather instead of just the hard plastic. Now, I know probably why they didn't is because pleather will break down over time. And the nice thing about these is they won't break down over time compared to dolls usually. The only thing that will get lost is this piece usually. Maybe this trunk because it opens, but it's really cool. Like, I feel like this is a Bel Air, but I don't think it is. Um, I'm bad with vintage cars, but this is based on an actual car, I know that. Um, so let's put Barbies back in. They go nice and easy right in there. And they are ready to go, y'all. Like we have got four Barbies, or two Barbies and two Kens in this set, or in this car. Now, I actually wanna see if like a Chelsea will fit back there, or not a Chelsea, a Skipper and a Stacy. So I'm gonna put Stacy, this is Mermaid Stacy, uh, I'm gonna put her right in between the two Barbies and see if we can get her. So we can. So there's enough room for actually another Barbie back there. And we're gonna take Target Skipper. These are just Skippers and uh, this is just a Skipper and a Stacy that I had on hand. And bada bing bada boom. We can fit six dolls in there. And as you can see, they're not really super cramped. Like they are, but not a ton. Not as much as you would expect. Like the girls, I could probably reposition their arms and there'd be no problem. But, so I am pleased to report you could fit six dolls in this car without too much effort. So, that is a very pleasant surprise, honestly. I was thinking these, this was going to be able to fit barely Barbie and Ken and maybe a third in the back because usually this front seat is solid if they do a four-seater. And you can't fit the feet through, so you can only fit shorter dolls in the back. That was what I was a little bit of afraid of. But this car is awesome, y'all. Like, I don't need to have Mermaid Stacy in the back, so I'm going to take her out, and Skipper's got to go back to work. So, bye, you two. Uh, but it's very cute. Ken can get a little comfy there with his, uh, with my mini-me. Barbie's giving side-eye back there, and Margo up here is having a grand old time. So... If you are kind of on the fence about spending 75 on a car, it is expensive. I am not going to say that it is not. This is a serious investment if you're going to get a Barbie vehicle. 
because this is it does not have play features really it is all like it is just a car <laughs> like it doesn't pop out into like a drive-in or something like that that would have been cool if the trunk popped up into like a projection screen or something anyway I'm getting away from myself um, but as we can see we can see everybody this way too but this is a price point that is a bit intimidating for people. I am not sure if this, if this car is going to make it into stores or not. But in the meanwhile, this is a very cool car. I'm having a little chitty chitty bang bang moment because this car is at like a 30 degree angle. Um, but at 75, and that's in the US, so it's more expensive everywhere else I know. It sucks. Yet sometimes you guys get stuff that we don't get. So it all it evens out. Uh, not really. I'm sorry. Uh, but I think it's worth the 75. Do I want to start paying 75 for every Barbie car? No. Am I glad I got this one over the RC? Yes. Was I gonna buy both? No. I said one Barbie car, I'm gonna get the deluxe. I'm not gonna spend, you know, essentially $130 to get both of them um, because they're the same car. And the RC car is actually scaled down from this. So, and it's not as detailed. The only benefit is that it goes on its own which we all know how well RC cars hold up over time. Um, but this is a really cool car. I do kind of wish that it came with like some suitcases or something. Like I know that it's a deluxe car and they probably didn't have a huge margin on something like this um, because it is more detailed like all of these things are gonna be extra pieces because they are different plastics that are molded. Like the tire is three pieces of plastic. There's a rubber, there's a white plastic, there's the rose gold cap. Like just on this part of the car, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven additional pieces excluding just the body of the car. So because this car is, I'm guessing, probably really labor intensive, um, I'm not mad at the price point. Do I wish that it was more accessible? Yes. Am I mad that they priced it where they priced it? Not really. Because it is so much like better than all the other Barbie cars that we've gotten. And I would say the last, like, seven or eight years at least, um, a couple of the Mycene cars may have come close, if I remember right. Um, I don't really collect Mycene, but I remember seeing them, and they had some pretty nice cars. But this is really cute, and... <sighs> And I'm glad that it got here. It was one of the last things to arrive for me. So I was kind of waiting to do the rest of my unboxings until this one came in because it's so cool. So if you guys have questions about this car, uh, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.